Okay, here we go. Um, first of all, can you hear me? My um thingy, my thingy broke. You know what I'm saying? My thingy broke. Ugh, my old head, or my my new headphones <laughs> decided to snap. Okay, which was not cool at all. I was like, wow. Why would you do that? And now my pen's broken. I don't have anything that's working right now. Okay. Okay, not a word. Okay. <gasps> Yay. Um, thank you, namesake Jake. Yes. Everybody go watch Windy City Heat. Hey, New Jersey Joan. Welcome to the party. Okay. I think we are. <sighs> Call. Do you guys know? Oh. Oh. Thank you, anime girl. Okay. I'm just all over the place today. Hello. These are my old, my old trusty headsets working just fine. Except it leaves little things in my ear. <gasps> One of my earlobes, ear thing, not lobes, the inside of my ear was bleeding. Sorry if that's gross, but I was cleaning it out with a Q-tip and it came out. I was like, what? It scared me. I don't know. Uh, Yes, he did, Dribbly Bob. <laughs> I need to get Perry's number. I don't know. I don't know how. We got a new song that I want to play real quick. And... Okay, here we go. Because <laughs> it's amazing. And that's why. Because it's amazing. Okay, it's going to be loud. You're just dodging my phone calls. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. What's up, Rachel? What's up, Roy? I think you're playing games like my car's a toy. You wrote me a note that you left at a thing. But if I'm being honest, I don't see a thing. I'm starting to think it's a bunch of lies. Do you really even have insurance, guys? There must be something that I'm misconstruing. But I know one thing. I'll tell you what you're doing. You dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity my doors are okay, my bumper ain't bent I don't see a scratch, I don't see a dent I check top to bottom and under the hood But I'm kinda confused cause my car looks good I just need your insurance if you wanna share If it's Geico or Progressive, I really don't care I don't think you appreciate the situation But I'm calling the cops if there's no communication You're dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity Dippity That's my phone for calls from an insurance agent, uh, from you, from your significant other, from anybody, anybody, anybody related to the thing, damage, whatever it is on my car. <laughs> oh, Vista Blue. Thank you for making that. Because Vista Blue has got the skills. Okay, he just is a musical genius. 
and um <gasps> base bot is your mom listening to me right now and if so i love your son and your daughter-in-law and i love you thank you okay maybe well, if uh, Basebot's mother is listening, I love you, and I love your children's, and I like what you're doing with your hair right now, so keep it up. All right, sorry. Let's make calls 35 minutes into the show. I already have to pee. I'm just kidding. I don't, but now that I said I did, I probably will have to. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Ow. No. Yeah. Hello. Is Emmanuel there? No, he's not. Well, where is he? Dippity dippity dodging. <laughs> Does anybody else think that she sounds like Melissa McCarthy? McCarthy. McCarthy. Hi, you've reached Carla Emanuel. I'm sorry I'm not here right now. Oh. If you could just leave me a message, I'll call you back as, just as soon as I can. Thank you. Listen here, I was trying to get a hold of Peter. I don't know why you're being such a... Carla with the nasty hair. Carla with the poop tooth. That's right. <clears throat> I thought she sounded stupid. That's not nice. She sounded pretty intelligent to me. Unless you're talking about Carla, then I agree. She sounded very dumb. Yes. <laughs> Leave your name. I'll remember. I will try to call as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Listen here, I got some of your mail and I was just wondering if you wanted it. Give me a call. Okay. Oh, I've called that guy before. Okay. This guy sounds like the nasty voicemail guy. Oh, what does he say? Nag bottom. <laughs> I need to just make that into a thing so I can listen to it. On repeat. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm gonna bend you over and and smack that nag bottom. <laughs> this is something about a nag bottom. <laughs> this is a nago horse. Hello. Yeah, hey, is this Ronnie? Veronica? This who? Veronica! What? You, hey, what? It's Rachel, what's up? Who is Rachel? Are we doing anything for Halloween this year? What's up, girl? It's me, we're friends. This who? It's Rachel. We're friends. Rachel, we're friends. Why Rachel? are you acting stupid? We are best buddies. And we're going to go out for Halloween. I hate y'all silly hoes. Y'all ain't got nothing to do but play on the goddamn phone. I ain't a silly hoe. That's rude. I am in. Well, lose my number then. I'm going to hang up. Don't tell me what to do. I get so Stupid sick of these people playing on your phone. I'm going to play on your phone. Me too. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't tell work. your mama. No, my mom doesn't. My mom's not into butt stuff, but thanks. <laughs> Tell your daddy this. He's not into butt stuff either. I think that's why they got along so well. Oh. Wicked and cricket. Wicked and cricket. I don't have that on here, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Surprise is what I'm into. I knew it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Hey, Devin, it's Mike from Vista Blue. And Matt from Less Than Jake. You guys are listening to Take Your Pants Off. Take your pants off. Matt, don't really take your pants off. I thought that was the point. Shit. Guys, Matt took his pants off. All right, we got to go. Sex pervert. I like it. <clears throat> well, she was sassy, and then she put somebody on the phone to be very sassy, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> from a deleted scene <laughs> what <laughs> what <about> propaganda is <laughs> what is going on here Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Well, AI is calling me a man, okay? Repeatedly saying that I am a man. And that is not very nice. That makes me want to cry a little bit. Okay. Just like, wow. <sighs> I need to smoke weed. Weed checkpoint. Devin is a man. Oh. Hello. Hello. I see somebody just called me. That was me. Uh, who is me? I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? It's Rachel. Rachel. Do you know you called Scott Munch? <laughs> I do. You know why I know I called Scott Munch? Because... Um, my favorite character on, uh, Law and Order was Munch. May he rest in peace. Uh, Have you, do you watch uh, the show? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. No, mm -hmm. I'm interested. <laughs> He's the cool uh, old guy with the salt and pepper hair. Oh, yeah, yeah I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Oh. Maybe I'll see that. Okay. What did what did you call for? Oh, um, so I guess you were having a, a garage sale this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I was just calling to let you know that I was going to set up a table um, with you guys and just sell some of my, um, my crochet, um, like I make crochet things for chapstick holders and stuff. Oh, the only problem we got with that is that entire shop is so full that you can't even walk. And we actually got to sell some stuff before we can put out the rest of the stuff we got. You could check with us uh, Saturday and see if we've cleared out enough stuff to where you can put it in. Could I just work out of my car in the parking lot? Uh... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, cool. And then if I need any change, I can just send send them into you to get like, you know, twenty ones and stuff like that. Ah, uh, that's a maybe. I don't know what kind of ones we're gonna have and stuff. But yeah, you could try it and see if well, we got it or not. Munchy, if you're doing a. Uh... A rummage sale, you got to have ones. You know people don't come prepared to these things. Yeah, I know, but we had some, we had people show up today and everything. We had that and wiped us out of ones because there's a lot of 50-cent items and things like that. No. So, Wait, you're open today? No, we're not. We're trying oh. to get it set up, but... My daughter put it on the internet or something, and people were showing up. I've heard of early birds, but two days early. <laughs> that, was too like, early. that was like super duper early. What a bunch of creeps. Did you give them the stink yeah. eye? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's, uh, we aren't even completely set up yet. So You got a wife? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is she going to be helping out? Uh, yep. Okay, I like She's it. got to, because it... 
Okay. And your daughter's supposed to be over there too. So, but yeah, you can check in. Uh, that's getting blown out of uh, proportion. I'm used Ooh. to a regular rummage sale, and yeah, now maybe. with this <laughs> internet and everybody checking in before I even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you should so. tell your daughter to stay in her lane, you know? Be <laughs> <laughs> like, hey there, sweetie. I appreciate it, but stay in your lane. She's got a lot of stuff in there, too. So I, And she's going to be helping oh. a lot, so I just kept my mouth shut, and she got a lot of her stuff bought today with that. So... Okay. I don't know. I'm not a tech guy, so. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I make jewelry out of, like, used IUDs and condoms and stuff. And then also, like, um, I do the crocheted um, chapstick holders that are, like, vaginas. And um, (laughs) also, like, and, like, some of them are, like, buttholes with the chapstick coming out. It's kind of a cool thing. They sell really well. Okay, well, yeah, you can check with us and see what's going on, and yeah, you can try that, I guess. So. Oh well, I'm I'm on Etsy. I'm a legit um. I'm a legit person, and the chapstick holders actually they squirt real pee. Okay, whatever that is. Well, I don't know. Because you know when people say that they're squirters, it's not it's not jizz, it's pee. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm getting another phone call. I think it's my daughter, so I'll let you go. You can check in Friday then. Yeah, I'll be there. Thank you. I love you. Oh okay. All right, tell your Bye. daughter to stay in her own lane, okay? <sighs> Yeah, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> he was a liar, but I was weird in the mouth, I guess. Okay, uh, Walter. Uh, Okra says hi. He's peeing out of his butthole. <gasps> Alf's here. Hi, Alf. And Buck of Walnuts. You're trying to go to your mobile kiosk. Yes. Okay. Uh, You were taught to crochet pubes by your grandmother. My great-grandmother tried to teach me how to crochet. I just couldn't get it. She had those crazy, crazy old people fingers that were all, they were, they were all like this. Where is that? Wicked and cricket. Mm-hmm. I thought her fingers were like, she was crazy. She made me drink a lot of milk. I did not like that. She was like, drink your milk. I was like, no, I don't even like milk. She was a badass. I think she owned a bar somewhere. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Are you guys handing out candy for Halloween? Are we? That's the question. Yeah. We live way out in the country. We live way out in the country. Well, so do we, but I mean, we're in the area, so we got to make do with what oh. we got, you know. Oh, well, probably be, I probably won't be because I'll be taking my kids around town. Oh, where are you guys going to? Um, probably just a family member's houses and friends. Oh, okay. Will you take my kids too? It's Rachel. Will you take my kids too? Rachel who? Slur. Who? Rachel Slur. Rachel Slur? <laughs> yes. Why did you have to say my, why did you just say my name like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a, that's a different one. You sound like you're Indian, but slurring really an Indian name, is it? Well, I'm Italian. Wow. Oh, 
don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm well, not... yeah, take them, load them up. I don't care. Um, nope. You sound like a white man. Oh, yeah. You like fire water? Uh, I like it all. What What is your poison? Right now I'm sitting here sipping on a Moosehead Canadian lager. Wow, Moosehead. Don't you know? I've been sipping on... Been sipping on some black velvet too. Ugh, 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 ugh. What is that? What is black uh, velvet? Is that uh cognac? What is that? It's whiskey. Mm. I don't like whiskey. Whiskey doesn't agree with my stomach. Oh well, I didn't say you had a drink, eh? Well, I thought you were <laughs> inviting me over for a drink. The way you're talking. Oh, well, whatever. Come on over. My mom drinks that shit. Are you an old lady? Oh. Black velvet? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Whatever. Is that your favorite stripper's name? <laughs> the who? <laughs> Is black velvet your favorite stripper's name? Might be. Oh. Who's talking in the background? Whoa. Mm, I don't know, about 20 people. Where are you at right now? We're having a big birthday party. Oh, I wasn't invited? Uh, yeah, I guess I've never really met you, so... Well, we should no? meet. We should meet post okay, well, where, where are you at? Do you know where the Dairy Queen's at? Dairy Queen where? In town. What town? <laughs> Are you stupid or something? Have you had one too many black um, velvets? Well, I don't know. They're eating Dairy Queen in my town. Well, it's further up. Oh, further up. <laughs> like way up north. You know where Lucifer's Pond is? Uh, no, you lost me. Oh, okay, well. Lucifer's Pond. I'm what just... town are you talking about? Well, technically, the area I'm in isn't uh incorporated. So, I don't really okay, have so a what, town. What, town's it, what town is it close to? Do you know where the traffic light is? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's right by the Dairy Queen. <laughs> well, wait, Isn't hold on. That... Hold on. What town are you in? Am I calling the right one? Main, uh, Main Street? I think? Main Street? Main Street? Oh, are you lost? No, where are you? I'm in Butt Crank. This is not a real place. That sounds like your sexual preference, and that's okay. It's 2024, oh, okay. well, maybe. so... Where are you right now? Uh, I'd have to look at the number here. Okay. Maybe a scoop of it. No. Oh. All right. Well, I got I got stuff to do here. Okay. Cool story. Call me back in just a little bit. Uh, how about you call me back when you're not busy with uh, children and stuff? Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right. I love you. Okay. Bye. Oh. Butt crank. I don't know. I don't even know where we're at right now. <sighs> what the fuck is butt crank? No, it's, um, what is it, Montana? I think Montana. Yeah. But what is butt crank? Butte or something? I was like trying to think is there a butte? I don't know what area I'm in.
So there's not a Dairy Queen. Bug Plug City. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Hey, I'm there. Going to Booty City. Oh, wait, that's the Booty, booty City. <laughs> okay. There is a Butte, Montana. Okay. <laughs> oh. I got a cool new song to play you guys. It's probably going to trip me up, but whatever. What the fuck ever. If you all... Where am I liked? Alright, there we go. Thank you for that song. Boner Boner. <laughs> Thanks for that song, Dinner. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That song made me smile. Many smiles. I see you staring at my dog's pussy. What? You guys hug it out. Kiss it out. I'll watch. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. She just came out with a uh, Halloween song. So you guys should all go listen to Dead Air and listen to her awesome Halloween song. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, let me try this bish. You can't touch my boobies. Boner, boner. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. No. That's rude. Hi, Snappy. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, Vesta Blue came out with a new fucking Halloween album today, or maybe not today, maybe it was before today, so everybody should go check that out. Okay, thanks right now. You can't touch my boobies. It was today. Awesome. Super exciting. Let me find it. Hold on, let me find it. Hold on, hold on. You know, we were talking about things and stuff and things. I don't know how to find it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Vistably. Thank you. I was scrolling up in my in my chitty chat. Okay. Go listen to some sweet Halloween jams from the most talented musician man. Mama is a lady boner. Today's suck it. Oh, Sukkot. 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 Okay. Get a refill, Graham. Jeez. Okay, we tried that. Did we try this grouchy old lady? Scare tactics. Oh yeah, we should do scare tactics calls. I know. I don't, I don't know if I should do a scare tactics. We kind of slacked on it. been forwarded to an automatic voice message music okay Ooh. Ooh. we got goodies okay what is this wait what today okay today carding Ooh, thank you You can 
touch my boobies. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all day. Thanks so much. Your call has been oh. forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Yeah, hi. Um, I was calling you back. Uh, I left a note on your car. Give me a call. Thanks, bye. Hey, hi. Yeah, that's rude. <laughs> that's kind of rude. Polishing? Oh, this motherfucker. The fuck do you think I am? Okay. You can't touch my boobies. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, um, hi. my son had left a note on your car. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And so you had sent him a message that he um it's, he could uh, pay Roy, for the polishing. Roy, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yes. you're and you were saying he could pay for the polishing. Uh yes yes I have and uh, I sent uh, your son Roy a uh, message in the uh, phone, but I don't have a uh, answer. Yeah, I'm answering because um I you don't tell my son what to do, okay? Um okay, he's not okay. gonna pay for polishing. Okay. Uh if if uh, I can uh write you a message because my English is very bad and maybe I, I don't understand all Are you Polish? You say. Yes, yes. Oh I'm Polish, I'm Polish too. But I don't know any ah, Polish. Polish. No, sorry. I don't know. Sorry. I'm, I'm not Polish. I'm from Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> was that an insult? Me asking if you were Polish? I'm sorry. I uh, my my name is Paul. I think you, you say Paul. My <laughs> name is Paul. Okay. Uh, can I write you a message? Because uh, I think my English is not good. Uh, yeah, speaking. yeah, just, I'm, um, we're just gonna forget it, okay? Okay, yes. Just no, just nothing. You polish the car, or polish it, uh, whatever. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Can uh, I write you, okay, message? Yucky, I'm a Polish king. Okay, bye. <laughs> what? Poor guy. Sorry, that was just uh, probably made him very uncomfortable. Mm. Hi, this is a message for Roy. Uh, I saw a note that you left at outside of uh, Second and McGraw Street about hitting a car. This and, person uh, sounds like a very man. impolite. Very impolite way to communicate with people. Um, so uh, we'll just see how we're going to be going forward with this. And um, you can feel free to give me a call back on the number that I rang you on. Bye-bye. Oh. These people. Okay. Should I try and be Roy? Let's do it. I'm Roy. I'm fucking Roy. You got a problem? Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Oh. I forgot to do that. I don't want to do that. Unless he answers. Oh, God. Where did it go? Hello? Hello? Hi. This is Roy. Uh, I left a note on your car. Yeah. Yeah, what was impolite about it? What was impolite about saying we parked like a fucking idiot? When you hit a parked car? Okay, kind of a weird but question to ask. Did you see the way that you parked? 
are you some kind of a joker or something? You hit a parked car. Okay. It's a really but... rude way to respond to somebody after you hit a parked car. It's parked. You were the one who was in motion. Can you not avoid a parked car? Well, honestly, I was, I was smoking weed and I tripped a little bit and kind of ran into it. All right. Well, I'll be getting in touch with you before too long to let you know what the damages are going to be, okay? There's no damage, okay? Just get over it. There, are, basically... there, are, systems inside, there, are, there are systems inside the bumper that go off when you get close to something. Did I set and off your bumper they... systems? What's that? Did I set off your bumper systems? Well, you hit a bumper, it sets the, it sets the sensors off. So I'll just be getting in touch with you and let you know what we're talking about. Okay? But did your sensors go off? No, they didn't. I still, did have, to, I still have to get it in. I, I still basically have to get it in. Place, okay? so I'll, I'll, be, car, I'll be in touch okay? with you. I'll be, I'll be in touch with you. But may, maybe next time... Maybe next time be a little more polite about your approach, okay? Eat my ass, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. What a fucking bitch. Should blow your cover. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try him again. Only he understands bumper sensors. Fart on that dick. What's going on? Okay, buddy. Well. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Hey, I, what's up? Uh, well, I'm a jokester. Okay. That's pretty cute stuff. The gig is up. I got you. I got you okay. good, fucker. Scare tactics. That's really clever stuff. Scare tactics. All right, have a good night. Scare tactics. Got you. Okay, he liked it. He, he gave me... He said, oh, that was clever. He liked it. That's nice. It's nice when people that you call uh, give you compliments about your calls. It's very nice. My wife... I'm a woman, you gay fool. <laughs> I saw that. Was it you who scratched my car? Oh, no. It's the Polish man. Oh, he's not Polish. McGraw. McGraw. Hello there, Roy. My name is John, and I was at <laughs> local Walmart the other day, and you left a note on my car um, saying you dinged it and that I parked like a hillbilly. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that mean? And this is a I found no damage, so I'm a bit confused, but it's all right. Uh, just call me back at this number. No! Oh, okay. Oh, God, that scared me. I was like, please. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> she sounds ten. I will call a 10 year old. Um, Barks like a hillbilly. That's a fake. <laughs> the wireless customer you are calling is not available. Oh, they got their shit just straight turned off. Whoosh. I'm sorry, I just got a lot of bun a lot of bunch of a lot of bunch of Can I get a bunja? Alright, um Is this a pee song? Please be patient. Devin has to pee. Yeah, that's what the I show will return shortly. In the meantime, get yourself a drink. Roll a joint or a blunt. Yeah. Pack a bowl or grab a snack. Do it's it. completely up to you. Perhaps you may have to beat yourself. So uh, it's vital you attend the nearest urinal if that <laughs> is the case. I cannot stress that enough. But please be patient. Devin does have to pee. Wait, hold on. What was that? What was that? Oh, 
was a brr, 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 brr. Speaking of people that sing, um, you know. Oh, just like uh, an hour and 15 minutes ago. And you've been promising me you're going to call me. You ain't never called me. How come you ain't never called me before? Well, what am I doing right now? Hey, and you want to hear the song that I wrote for you? Oh, yes, please. Please. That's why I'm calling you. So there you go. Oh, that was beautiful. I wrote that just for you. What I really want to know, would you suck my dick? But I what? Would you, you suck my dick? dick? Hell, Are you gay? No, hell no, I You're ain't gay. You're gay, right? Well, uh, I'm gay. Are you serious? No, you ain't serious. Yeah. No, okay, I guess I will then. Okay. You're gonna get raped in the butt. We don't ever get to listen to that full one, huh? Oh, man. Good old Ricky. He stopped taking my calls. I don't think I saved his number. Hmm. Devin Band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Denner made that for me. Thank you. I love it. Although, you know, <clears throat> probably going to get in trouble for using the R word. So, you know how, um, People who use the word unal- unalived instead of dead or wait, suicide. I don't know. Whatever they say, they unalive themselves or they're unalive. And then, <clears throat> so if people were raped, is it that they were un unsexually assaulted or? What's the proper terminology here? And how's the homeless again? Right, Om Nom? There's Please leave a so message many. after. Hello? Pick it up. It's me. Hello? Unin... Uninnocenced? Ooh. I like an innocence. <laughs> I'm molested. Oh, that's good too. Yes. Surprise sex. Greta. <laughs> oh, TikTok doesn't want to kill him. Okay. Dick filled surprise bud sex. What is it? They just had a no no oopsie. Whoops. I'm not, I'm not, um, discounting, you know, sexual assault. That's real sexual assault. It's not funny. I'm just trying to see, because, like, you know, I heard myself say the R word, and I was like, Bogus. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> Opposite. Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah, hi, your phone is real crazy. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, hello. yeah. is this the front desk? Yes, it is. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'm staying here, and I just have a little bit of a question for you. Are you, re- are you ready for the question, or? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you just were, you went quiet. You went uh, silent there. I, I thought you were going to tell me what the question was. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, So, I'm in here, I'm doing a seance, and I think 
possibly like now my lights are flickering and there's movement in the bed when nobody's in the bed. I think I might have invited a spirit into my room. Okay, what room number are you in? I right, do you have any available rooms to move to? I don't think so. Um, let me just double check real quick. Okay. What room number are you in right now? Well, I'm sorry, why do you need to know that? Well, I was going to try to find a room that was close to you, but... Oh. Well, I would rather not... I would rather keep that, um... If you could just, like, leave the key to the new room somewhere I could pick it up. I don't know if we have any rooms. Um, hold on one second, okay? No, don't put me on hold. I'm scared. Hello? <gasps> R.I.P. Liam Payne. Did you really hang up on me? Freaking turd ass bitch. Turd ass bitch? You fucking horse riding fuck face. Scared hectics. <laughs> I got our gun. Play ghost sounds in the background. <laughs> Boo! Oh no. Um. <laughs> so. Let me see what that is. Does Red Lion answer? Okay. Welcome to the Red Lion Hotel, Kalispell. We are glad you are calling. If your call is regarding a new reservation, existing reservation, or a previous stay, please press 1. To speak with the front desk regarding a transportation request or other inquiries, press 2. To connect with our sales and event staff, your call is being transferred. Please hold. So, uneaten... <laughs> Eaten. <laughs> I don't even know any of the people from One Direction, do I? Is there somebody that's famous from One Direction? Like Dom Noms. What was Om Noms? It's very sick. Damn it. Om Noms, it's gone. Om Nom 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 Nom. Zane? That's not a real person. <laughs> it's like this. I'm losing my hair and my vision is shady. Last night I dreamed of Red line front desk. Oh my god, what's going on? Are you guys okay down there? I hope so. Okay, you just Why took a really long time to answer the phone. That's all. I was ringing like a lot. Alright, uh, can I help you? <laughs> yeah, I'm um, sorry. Uh, you're at the front desk, yeah? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. So I came here. Do you know what a bucket list is? I do, yeah, I know what a bucket list is, but what, what are you talking about? Oh, well, I'm staying here, and like, so I have a bucket list, but it's not, like I'm not dying. I'm just turn, turning 30. And I. You said what, sorry? Well, I'm not like. So, bucket list, I'm not technically dying. I mean, we're all dying, you know, mm. technically. But, um. So, I just have like a bucket list that I'm trying to take care of right now while I'm on vacation here. 
Mm-hmm. And I heard there were a lot of um, like slutty college kids around, but I haven't seen any. Slutty college kids? That's what I was told, yes. Damn. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. I'm from California, and that's where you can find all that good stuff over there. But here, it's super calm. I don't... Really? There's only, like, slutty... Yeah, there's only slutty, like, hot moms, but they're all, like... They have, like, four kids, and... What probably, about like, dudes? I'm into dudes, man. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, what about dudes? Oh, I don't know. I like, what are you like, into? Well, just, like, anything with a penis... Um, uh-huh. is really kind of where I'm going right now. Yeah, like a well, I mean, I can't even, I can't even give you a category because it's only white people here, honestly. <laughs> Gross. Only white dudes, and they're all, Gross, they're all right? Wait, are you That's Hispanic something. or native? Yeah, I'm Hispanic. Hispanic, okay. Yeah. Well, you know what else fuck. is on my bucket list? What's up? Is to have phone sex with a hotel worker. Are you serious? Yeah. That is crazy. I know. Can we do this? Can we make this happen? All right. What do you look like, and how much do you weigh? I just have to ask. That. I weigh approximately two hundred and thirty-seven pounds, and I am God five damn. four. All right. Send a pic of yourself. Oh my God, damn! What does that mean? No, I just want, that's a lot for five four, two hundred and thirty. It's crazy. I'm fucking curvy. Okay, what are you? Um. I'm just Give me a quick second I got some more bounce to my ounce You know what I'm saying You ever fucked All a right, You ever fucked a big girl We got right, send a pic. We got fatty actually, tissues actually, well, in our vaginas That make our vaginas tighter With our fatty oh, yeah. tissue vaginas Yeah That is crazy You can All touch actually, my actually boobies send, that, send a pic I ain't, I ain't tweaking. I'm not. I'm. I'm obviously not gonna have sex with you because it's, it's crazy. But um, I just want to see like what two hundred and thirty pounds. Five four is crazy. It's crazy oh, so work. you can share it with your friends? I'm not gonna. Say, if you're not gonna fuck me, why would I send you a picture? Nah, I got a girl dumbass. already. That's a thing. You ain't got a girl. You're fucking stupid. I'm dead ass. I got a girl. I can't. I can't be doing a lot of shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Nobody's gonna I believe will. that I seen you when I came in. You ain't fucking pulling in tail. Hey, 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 hey. Watch it, watch it. You got that All fucked right. up teeth, huh? What's going on with that? I do got fucked up teeth. I know, why? Hey, I still pull bitches, though. Psst. Yeah, probably after you fucking roofie them, you fucking sicko. Hey, 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 watch it, watch it. I've never had to roof anyone. If anything, <laughs> they you roofing paid? me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Nobody is roofing you. Have you paid for sex before? I've never done that because I don't have to. Mm, really? How have old you? are you? No. Fuck 230 no. pounds? Yeah, that's unbelievable. Bitch, do you know? Okay, first of all, you're a man, <laughs> okay? If anybody is waving some vagina in your face and you're like, I'm horny, you're going to be like, okay, I'll fuck it. I'll fuck it. It's cool. No big deal. All right, send a pic and I'll, and I'll consider it. You got a girl. I ain't fucking with you. I don't give a shit. Ain't nobody trying to yeah, get in know. fights right now. I'm just trying to get laid, okay? So why don't you send... Are there any single guys staying in the hotel right now? Damn. Uh, you should send me to a fucking random room or some shit with a dude. You see any dudes in there? God damn. I'm just trying to get my dick wet, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me? I'm just trying. I I'm thought just, you said you had a vagina. I What's do. I on? do, but I was just putting it in words. Um, how, What do you say? You know what I mean when I say I'm trying to get my dick wet, right? I'm trying to fuck. I say I'm trying. I'm trying to get my tip wet. That's what I say. Your tip wet. Okay. Well, what would a woman say? I'm just trying to get oh, your no. tip wet. Is that <laughs> like what about <laughs> no, that, me? That's a good one. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck about your tip getting wet. I'm just trying to All get right. get off. You know. Wait. How old are you? Well, send me to. I'm. I told you I was turning thirty. Thirty. Damn. Mm-hmm. I think the most I've gone is for like 38. Oh, are you calling me old? No. How I'm old saying are you? Could you be my older sister. I could be I'm your 23. older. 23. Yeah. Oh, damn. 
You need an older woman. I bet your girl doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. My girl's 25. <laughs> exactly. I like so she doesn't thing. know what the fuck she's doing. 25 ain't shit. I'm that 29, okay? Mean? She probably doesn't right, even... Oh, no, she said, so trust me, she definitely knows what she's doing. Okay. Anyways, you probably have one of those inverted penises. Oh, no, trust me, I don't. <laughs> it's a... It's a hider. Full confidence, I'm telling you right now. It's not. Alright. Are you going to send me a picture of yourself, though? Because I, well, I stopped my, my watching The Walking Dead for yes, this. But which could, is pretty interesting. This is probably the most interesting conversation I've had ever, which is the only reason I'm going along with it, because uh, this is funny. Okay. Front desk is boring as fuck. It is. I agree with you. Oh, but yeah. No, I appreciate it. But, yeah, if, could you just send me to, like, some room with a dude in it? Alright, let me see. I can send somebody your way. Yeah. Well, we'll just. Alright, what's your room number? Well, no, have them call me. Who are you sending my way? Wait a minute. I don't know. I I run an escort service on the side. No, you don't. I'm dead ass. Hmm. Is that what you're What's your room number? I can send somebody out there. Hold on. Hold on. I don't talk about my side business. I'm not paying for sex. Okay. Not gonna happen. Just you don't pay for sex? Fuck no. Send me to a fucking hey. room right now. To a room? I don't know about any fucking rooms that have... I don't know. Just, just white send me there. to a room. You wanna get sent to a room? Alright, which which floor? Uh, second floor. Second floor? Yeah. This nigga. Alright, let's see. Get him. Okay, I have a list of rooms here. I could probably send you to whoever sounds like the most attractive. Okay, do Let's it. Uh, there's a guy named last name Bushard. That's so <laughs> fucking virgin. <laughs> Butchered? There's a guy, his first name is Rex. That is so gay, bro. Ooh. Ooh. You're into it? You nasty. What the hell? Alright, let's see. He's probably got a big dick and a fucking... You know, this is fucking... Rex? Gay. Fuck yeah, he's probably got a big ass dick and a six pack. He's probably got that thing above his fucking hips, you know what I'm saying? Is it that V line shit? Yeah. Oh, I have that shit. You don't have that shit. See. There's a nigga named Emerson. <laughs> oh, send me to Emerson. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> he's, a, he's a nerd. He sounds like he wants he sounds like he fucks. Jesus Christ. And Rex rhymes right, with oh, sex. Married, you know mind. what that? Rex rhymes oh, with sex. Shit. Yeah. That is true. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Shit, I'll send you out there. Alright, Okay. See. Thank you. And I'll send you a picture. Try. You don't even have my phone number. Oh, you're ready, Joan? <laughs> I was gonna send it to the hotel. <laughs> Why won't you do that when you're gonna get me caught up this? I didn't right, mean send. to wait 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 I need a pen, okay? Hold on. Wait, what's your name? Guillermo. Oh Guillermo. I used to get yeah, fucking freaky with a Guillermo at my work. That is crazy. He <laughs> that went, is crazy. he was like we that would call crazy. him and he'd yeah, be you're like, ready for my phone hey, number girl. Hey girl, hold on. Um, wait, talk to me right now. What happened? Okay, there you go. What's your number? Mhm. Mhm. Okay. And it's Guillermo. If, I swear to God. Yeah. If I, I swear to God, if I get a picture of some black guy's dick, bro, I'm gonna be disappointed because I was trying to see a fat girl that's five four. <laughs> Yeah, so you, me wrong you wanna yeah, you see a me wrong fat girl it. with a wet ass pussy. I know. Oh, okay. So you I admit know. that you, you are a fat girl? Well, yeah. I'm fucking oh, okay. 275 hey, for shit, motherfucker. But I got a tight ass pussy. I ain't had no kids, neither. Be cool. Hey, that's awesome. Be cool. That's on my, that's on my, that's on my list of, uh, of no-nos. Can't have a kid. Uh-uh. Wow! What the fuck? Are you calling me? No. It's cracking. 
Yes, sir. Hello? Let's see. Is somebody calling you? Yeah. A bunch of All right, send the picture of your fat ass. All right. I actually want to see because I've not. Uh, 230, <laughs> 230 is evil work. It's evil work. <laughs> It is not for you. A five, girl. I, I would have thought it was like five nine. Get the fuck out of here. No, actually, actually, send a pic. I send a pic. Oh, I will. It's, what is. Wait, why is that evil work? You gotta explain yourself. That's fucked up. Because five four. Bro, okay, here's the thing. I'm 175. Ooh. Hold on. Somebody's calling me. So you can move the fuck around. Hello? Yo. Put him on speaker. Yo. Put him on hey, speaker. Is this chick actually fat? Is this chick actually fat? Yo, can you hear me? Wow, what happened? Really? <laughs> no way. I bet. Bet, bet, bet. Who is that? It's my mom. She's saying that I have to get home right away. Oh, you better go. Little, is she gonna, is she gonna tuck you in and slap your penis? That is so weird. Alright, so. I know. You pay for porn. I mean, you pay for sex. You're fat and you're pervert. That's weird. I don't pay for sex. I told you that. I am fat right, and I'm a pervert, yes. But I don't pay for sex. Okay. That is weird. That is, that is evil it's work, really man. weird. I know. Who wants Hawk to a... Jesus Christ. What? That's you right there? <laughs> I don't Jesus know. Jesus Christ. You're exactly what I expected you to look like, too. Who sent him I could literally... <laughs> I can literally, I can literally stick my thumb in between both of your teeth. That's insane. Your front teeth. You floss with the mattress, huh? Motherfucker! I fl oh, I'm gonna floss with no. your dick, with your tiny ass dick. That's what I'm gonna floss with. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. I ain't your buddy, pal. All right, pal. I got a vagina. This nigga. Hey. You cannot use All that right. word. Excuse me. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually black from the waist down. That's not what your girl said. She said Guillermo's got that tiny ass toothpick, Duke. You got a what? A tiny toothpick, dick. <laughs> yeah, somebody owned We've been up. talking about this bullshit for 14 minutes, dude. Oh. All right. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I'm getting a real call, like an actual call. <laughs> I have to hang up on your ass. Okay, well, be careful, okay? okay. I love you. I thank you very much. This I love you. Say it back, Guillermo. I don't know. Here's you. the thing. This is the most interesting conversation I've had since I moved to Cali's Poker. This, this is a bullshit ass job. It is But bullshit. this actually made my night. So I ain't gonna lie to you. I appreciate you. Well, I love you, Guillermo, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Slap oh, your dick on the phone. Night. Slap your dick on the phone. Oh yeah! Wow! Wow! Fucking weirdo! All right, I love bye. you. <laughs> what picture did you sick fuck send to him? <laughs> I thought I was so smooth. Oh. Oh wait, I had him muted. Did I have him muted the whole time? Oh, I see what I did there. Damn it! You know. That's what, <laughs> that's what happens when you start some fucking. It was really low. Okay. You totally hear him. Okay. Well, because I had left, I had un. I did not mute the fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> Just be nice. Be nice to Guillermo. 
He was a nice man and we made his night. That's nice, right? That's all you can hope for. You just want to make people's nights. And have them be... You know. What is this? That's not a real place. Okay. That guy was awesome. Yeah, he was cute. I liked him. Wait, I didn't... What was his name? Something with an R, like... Rufiala... Ruf... 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 I'm not giving my dog a red raccoon. It's not even a picture. Don't do it. <laughs> Call him back later. I should save his number. That's a good idea. What was his number? Okay. We'll keep Guillermo's number because he was a nice guy. Uh, Guillermo... Isn't that, um, uh, what's his face? Why can't I think of his name right now? The funny guy. He was on SNL. Oh. Jimmy Kimmel, that's it. Jimmy Kimmel. Doesn't Jimmy Kimmel... Oh, no! Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel is Guillermo, right? Who's also a big part of Windy City Heat. Everybody go watch Windy City Heat. In the ever lived ever. It's okay. Whatever. Whatever, dudes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Gordo, you should be helping me and not laughing at my goofs. That's rude. That's rude. Man, we had an Arctic fox show up in our neck of the woods here. There ain't no Arctic foxes around here. Where are you coming from, buddy? What's going on? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're just being sneaky little sneaky turds coming in here. Poop my pee. Oh, late to the party. Wow, ascending eject D68. Ejecti. I want to adopt it. I do too. It was so cute. I wanted to eat its cute little face. Apparently, apparently, it was probably somebody's fucking pet that they just like threw into the wild because people are pieces of shit. I just want to say, yeah. Mountain Lake Lodge, this is their after hours service. How may I help you? Oh, I'm here right now. There's nobody at the front desk? No, they close at, let me see here. Well, there might be. They just might be on another line. So mm -hmm. you can either, yeah, go in or just wait a moment and try back. I don't have any pants on. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I just was wondering if, like, there was a rule about not having pants on. Not that I know of as long as you're not outside. I'm definitely outside. I just, um, people were looking at me weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I could leave a message for the office if you'd like. 
Yeah, I need to know um, what the rules are. And what is your name? My name is Rachel. And the last name? Slur. And can you spell that for me? Uh, S as in Sam, L, U, R as in Roger, R as in Roger. And a callback number? Um, is area code 571-555-7723. Okay, and which unit are you in? I'd rather not. Uh, I'd rather not okay. say that this time. All right. All right. Let me put you on hold, actually, and see if I could get a hold of an on-call person for you and connect you to them. Thank you. You're welcome. One moment. I think it would be worth playing again for Nanny. Hey, Nanny. <laughs> it was it was not nasty like rice so. <laughs> I do have to pee again so uh. <laughs> speed beat of it. play this for Miss Neally just because uh, we're glad you're here. Thanks for being awesome. You're just dodging my phone calls. Dippity dippity dodging! Dippity dippity dodging! What's up, Rachel? What's up, Roy? I think you're playing games like my car's a toy. You wrote me a note that you left at a ding. But if I'm being honest, I don't see a thing. I'm starting to think it's a bunch of lies. Do you really even have insurance, guys? There must be something that I'm misconstruing. But I know one thing. I'll tell you what you're doing. You dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. 
this baby feels like he dodging. My doors are okay, my bumper ain't bench. I don't see a scratch, I don't see a dent. I checked top to bottom and under the hood, but I'm kind of confused because my car looks good. I just need your insurance if you want to share. If it's Geico or Progressive, I really don't care. I don't think you appreciate the situation, but I'm calling the cops. If there's no communication, you're dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity I checked my phone for calls from an insurance agent, uh, from you, from your significant other, from anybody, anybody, anybody related to the thing, damage, whatever it is on my car. Do you love it, Natalie? <laughs> This is so good. Man, Vista Blue is... Holy shit. I'm just saying. To get a song made by Vista Blue with you in it is a fucking treat. It's a fucking honor. Oh, no. Nah, nah. No, man, you told me that, okay, Natalie told me that the reason she was driving one of her friend's cars and, like, visiting from out of town, and this poor Natalie got somebody put a (laughs) poop-covered note on her car. Mm. A poop-covered note on her, on her car. That was her friend's car. It wasn't even her car. So, you know, I think I would be the same. I would be like, wow, this fucking guy, this fucking guy left a note on my friend's car. I'm visiting. I don't want to be the asshole, you know? I mean, I'm really good at being the asshole. I'm always the asshole, but is it Ramada's or Comfort? And that's a fucking dick. I still have the note in a plastic bag. Never did tell. Okay, good. Well, we need... Nat, we want to see a picture of it. So, I'm going to need you to send us a picture of your poop-covered note. I know you're Thank you for calling for it, Ramada by Window. Butte. Yeah. Please listen carefully, as there are some new menu options to serve you better. To make Dibbity a new reservation, dodging. please press 1. To cancel a reservation... Yes. Please press 2 to modify an existing (laughs) reservation or to speak to the front desk. Please press 3. I tried to make my photo here, but it was too large. Oh! (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) Well, you'd probably have to email it. You'd have to edit it, huh? One day it will be a historic artifact. Yeah. <laughs> Bree, that's not nice. That's not very Jewish of you. Try screen. You called me. It's right again. Was it you who scratched my car? Shut up. Oh. The House of Wonder. Thank you, the House of Wonder. You little stinky butthole. Little stinky balls. Oh, Nunu. Hello, Nunu. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Okay. I don't think 
I need to call more popul populated city, I guess. No, I did it wrong. <laughs> Ascending Ejecti 68, Nunu is a ghost? Nunu, you're a ghost. Okay, what do we got going on? What do we got going on, you guys? Halloween's coming. Uh, are we all excited about Halloween? Uh, oh, what were you thinking about possibly watching spoopy movies in the Discord? So, Douglas is here. You can finally start thinking, Douglas. We've all been waiting. Through to Kanji Self Limited, please leave your You're name and number. Scare and I'll get away. Back to you <laughs> yeah, hello, Jackson Limited. It's me. Give me a call. I had some questions about your uh, merchandise. Okay. Thanks. I had some motherfucking questions. <gasps> this kid's name is. Tool time. Tool time. Aren't they making a new, like, Tool Time spinoff? Oh, yeah. And who did they do? Tool Time. Tool Time spinoff. Uh. What? No. No, that's not right, man. Give me the news I'm asking for. It has Cat Denise boobs in it. <gasps> there it is. Thank you, Douglas. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dog Lettuce. Do you guys know that Dog Lettuce... Oh, yeah, Dog Lettuce is going to be 30? Are you really turning 30, Dog Lettuce? It's gross. Did you hear the guy? He was like, if you're 5'4 and you're 30... And your you call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not... 37 pounds, then you're gross. Oh, you already turned 30. Ugh. 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 Okay, my mom said she liked her 50s. I think she was momming up until, you know, late 40s. Yes, yes. Here's the senior discount. <laughs> Good, I love you. Fucking <laughs> seventies are okay, I guess. Seventies. <gasps> well, I mean, it kind of just depends on. Oh, look at that little baby. Ugh. Um. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go pick up my mom this weekend. I dropped her off with her sister. Oh, wait. I goofed that. Um, I'm going to go pick her up. Cute little dog lettuce. Cute baby dog lettuce. All Canadian. Your call has been Cutie. forwarded to an automated voice. Little cutie Canadian dog lettuce. Oh, look at his mouth. He's just saying, E. That's what he's saying right there. 
What? Ice cat, why are you? I like that. Hey, prawn call. Welcome. Oh, yeah, I was making stickers, and one of them says Walter did 9 11. I'm really excited about that. And, but I don't want to offend people, so. If you're offended, please let me know. Go ahead and tape it in chat. Devin, did you try calling? Uh, <laughs> prone call. Uh, did you call them? Oh, yeah, I did. Maybe around there. Maybe. Are you being a sick? Are you being a sick person? Did you invite them here? Don't invite them here. Go deep with Gordon. They knew I lied, but it was a hospital for a while. Or both me one thing connected to you. noise, so the nurse would ask them to leave. What? I'm so confused right now. Sorry, I'm coming in the middle of. She's too old to get it. Fair enough. Well, you could do this. Give me their number. Give me her number. Okay, thanks. There you go. You could just reply to that, make sure it's red, and then nobody else will see it but me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what the fuck? Hmm. I only have a personal. I will take her personal number. We all have personal numbers here. I guess that might not be good if you told her. You didn't tell her, did you? Don't tell her. Okay. That's okay. No pressure. We're just having fun. We'll make it work. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Liar. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Poopy poopy butt butts. <gasps> oh. I was like, man, that's like I took Walter to get a haircut and... Okay, he's not here. And the lady was like... Uh... We have Walter now as a border collie, but as you know, border collies are um, not like 80 pounds. And I was like, I know he's also part Catahoula. Like, I was trying to be all sketchy. I was like, bitch, you calm down. So they said they were going to charge me more next time. I was like, all right. Fuck off. Of course. Anything for Walter, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gordo news. <laughs> Gordo. <laughs> hey. Oh. Just answer. Did you send me your number and now you're not going to answer? Why aren't you going to answer? I am on Skype. Um, I only smile. I am on Skype. <sighs> Do you guys have any things where you like... Um, I have my 
partner in crime at work is going to be gone for the next few days. And I am just dreading having to talk to people about stuff and things. I'm just like, why? Don't make me pants who? Who are you pantsing? Don't pants anybody. It's not good for you. Okay, let's see here. New call. Where am I at? Here we go. I should call some dirty Canadians. Huh? Shame in a drunk persona. This John, is Joe. Please leave. And I will call you back. John, I don't believe it. I never had a surgery before that one, but I remember having a pack the hole in my glass. And, Ew. <sighs> I don't need to know about things that makes my neck weak. <laughs> You guys know when you're like reading books or watching movies and they're like, I'm giving birth. I'm like, that's disgusting. And you need to stop it right now. I don't need to know. I don't want to see. I don't want to know. I want to know. It's gross. Man. I just. Please check in the news to catch me lying. What? What is going on? There's a lot of craziness going on. I don't want to know what's going on here. Humans are revolting. It's true how they feel you. They are. Hey there. We sent your call to our voice message system. Susan? Brad. I know that um, Brad has shared, like, reverse, like, saving dogs from uh, floods (laughs) videos and stuff like that. Which is just horrible. It's just horrible. But I don't need to watch that. I don't need to know. I don't need to watch it. I don't want none of it. I don't... <laughs> I don't want it! Ouch. How many... My ear hurts. And I don't know if it's just my imagination. You know what I'm saying? Hello. We are not available Answer now. Answer me. Please. Come on. I said come on. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Leaving the poor dog to die. <laughs> sure to see your report is fucking cops. Good day. 
That's right. Hello. Please leave a message. Hello. 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 Pick up the phone. Hello. <laughs> God damn. Thanks for wasting my time, you fucking assholes. Fucking acting like you like to mess with garbage and stuff. Rude. Uh. Yes. I do think that song will be played at mine and Rice wedding. <laughs> That's hot. Watch out, watch out, Roy. It's coming for you. Nelly's coming in hot. Okay. I wish you guys would be dicks. Good him. Why aren't any of the Canadians answering? They do shit like that sometimes. Let's play the last year. I'm trying to burn my house and beat me. What? It's rude as hell. Calling Best Western, Michelle speaking. How can I help you, Michelle? Yes. Hi, I'm. Um, uh, this is Lone, the Lone Tree, right? You're the friend desk. No, this is the Best Western. What? Friend. That's wrong. You guys have the wrong number here. Okay. Are you at the Lone Tree? No, I'm at the Best Western, but my friends at the Lone Tree. Okay. So you're well, my there's, friend there's, desk. There's only someone at the front desk at the Lone Tree until 8. And then after 8, it comes to the Best Western. Okay. That's why I was trying to get a hold of my friend over there. Okay. That makes sense. Um, So maybe you could help me out. I got into some garbage earlier. Like I was in the cans. Yeah, hello. No. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I missed a call from this number. Yeah, I was calling about yeah, your stuff. About what? You the side by side. About what was that? Well, you. So your yard is uh, offending me. I can't hear you. I'm the ghost of your, uh, the mouse that haunted your house for a year, probably about seven years ago. I'm the ghost of that mouse. I just wanted to tell Mm -hmm. you that, hello? Are you listening? Oh, asshole. Somebody called in and the lady didn't like it. These are really old. It was me looking at my boobs. <laughs> you guys. Ah, uh, can you imagine answering this call and hearing this? I can't. That's true. Uh, ghosts are real, okay? Ghosts are fucking real. I hate that. Oh, it's Rachel. I was calling about those large adult diapers for sale and the pads. Yeah, I got up with my mother. Um, you know, I opened up before she passed away. Oh, were these and in the room with her? I had some in a drawer in her room. Do you think the ones that were in her room are haunted? 
Oh, heck, I don't read superstitious stuff like that. Well, no. I am. I believe in ghosts. No, she didn't, die. Just... she didn't die here or nothing. She didn't die here or nothing. So these might be haunted. Um, no. Do you think ghosts wear diapers? No, hell, I don't even believe in ghosts. <laughs> That's crazy. Am I going to get like a haunted discount or something? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Why are you so anti-ghosts? I don't believe in them. I don't believe in ghosts. Ghosts are real, Michael. Uh, it is a Vista Blue Hour. And you know what? Nobody's complaining about it because it's all fucking golden. God damn it. It's fucking golden. Like uh, the goose egg in a... Uh, that one Willy Wonka shit, you know, they're like, I, I got a golden egg. Subscriber you have dialed is uh, not in service. That one's not in service, Todd. But why is it <laughs> wet, Todd? <laughs> I don't know, Margo. That's a good movie right there. Man, but diapers, diapers are fake. Diapers are a, f- uh, a fiction of our imagination. That's not a real saying, is it? Diapers are a fragment of our imagination. Oh my god, my brain is broken. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. And uh, I feel like maybe, let me go over here. I need to find some random ass people that need to answer their goddamn phones and stop playing games. Why are you playing games? Okay. Upper. I live in Upper. Oh, what is this? Okay. I like this. Copy. Man. What kind of pro? Sorry, you're working on a project. What kind of project? Oh, yeah. Um, someone wrote a review saying they didn't understand how it was a Christmas song. We just had some guy why the carpet was all <gasps> I don't appreciate that at all, Vista Blue. We also have a song about Todd and Margo. Uh, yes, I think. Hold on. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. Oh, man. It's so good. Hello. 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 Yeah. Um. Hey, uh, why is the carpet wet, Todd? Pardon me? Why is the carpet wet, Todd? Why is the carpet wet? Todd. Todd? Yeah, why is the carpet wet, Todd? I don't know why. You're going to say, I don't know, Margo. Say that. Huh? Say, I don't Hello? know, Margo. I don't know. Margo. Say I. Margo. Why? 
Because that's from the movie. Have you ever seen the National Lampoon's movie, uh, The Christmas Vacation? Mm, with, maybe. With Chevy Chase? There's, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's just a point in there where he's, like, goofing around on his roof doing, um, like, lights and stuff. And then he, like, breaks the gutter guard off and then it shoots a frozen piece of water into the neighbor's house while they're gone. And then they come home and the it has melted because they have their heat on in the house. And... Um, they come in their room and they're like, oh my God, the glass is shattered. And then it had hit a piece of like radio. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then Margo is like, but why is the carpet wet, Todd? They don't know where the water came from. So she's like, why is the carpet wet, Todd? And then... Todd is like, I don't know, Margo. Oh, yeah. Why is the stereo wet? It's yeah. so funny. It's a good one, right? Yeah. So that's what I was saying. So here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, why is the stereo wet? And you're going to say, I don't know, Margo. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, she hung up on me. Well, we were having a good conversation. <laughs> Man, she let me talk about that whole thing. And then she hangs up. <sighs> what a bitch. <laughs> Her good <laughs> spin. I know she. Well, you know what? She liked my story. So that was nice. Thank you, Margo. <laughs> Stupid. It's okay, I like it. I know, I'm trying to Todd. But why is the stereo wet, Todd? <laughs> would would it be hard to have a husband or boyfriend named Todd? Pete Wiener scene. I'm not home. Leave a message. I'll call you back later. Thanks. Hey, if you could call me back, that would be so great. And I gotta talk to you. Okay. I like it. Um, how? Service wanted. Okay. Um, I have to pee again because that's what I'll do. And that's what I'll do. Uh, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Um, do y'all remember Dr. Pepper berries and cream? Berries and cream. Yeah, I know. Alright, why is the carpet all wet, Todd? This is the perfect time. I'll be right back. Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? What did you do? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? Why is the carpet all wet,
tried these? Berries and cream starburst? Pardon me? What kind of starburst did you just say? Uh, berries and, and... Berries? Berries and what else? And cream? Berries and cream! Oh, hurrah! Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. That was the best commercial ever. It was so weird. It was so weird. I don't even eat pink starburst. <laughs> don't lie, Vista Blue. We know you eat pink starburst. That's a starburst commercial. <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, what is, what is going on? This is so scary. It's weird. Where am I? <gasps> oh, Brad. <gasps> Brad! Do you guys know that uh, Brad is Brad? Brad is rad. Don't tell anybody, but Brad is rad. Oh, Brad. I mean, Natalie is trying to take you from me. I feel like I'm feeling a little threatened. Personally, and I don't appreciate it. No, they get off my man. Get off my man. What? Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, shit. I didn't think you. Uh, it's. Hey, it's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? Well, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Um, I was just wondering, have you ever, um, like, so I was walking down the hallway and I had somebody, like, swoop in front of me and I smelled a familiar smell and then they said, do you... I'm a messenger from God and God has a message for you. And I was like, that's nice, honey. And then I kept going. But I need to know what the message was. Mm. Will you tell me what the message was? No, what are you talking about? I was talking about the message. What's the message? You, are you okay? Are you on drugs? I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. What are you doing? I don't even. What's going on? You called me. No, you called me. Oh, my phone was ringing. You sure your phone ringing? Or, or your pain is ringing? <laughs> I know when my phone's ringing. <laughs> Don't act stupid. That's rude as hell. Uh, I know when my phone's ringing, okay? Okay, anyways. Well, what happened was you had sent me a, <laughs> you had sent me a message and I called you and then you didn't answer. Until just now, I think. Is that right? Am I right? I don't know. Well, you just... you um, get the message from Huh? We get the message from No, you, you sent me a message. Um, you're James, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, um, <laughs> I'm Saran Wrap. You sent me a message? On X uh, to call you. I have big boobies and red hair. Wait, wait a minute. Do 
you know where the Dairy Queen's at? The what? Um, do you know where the Dairy Queen's at? Yeah. It's like close to Maine. You know? Are you, in Ro are you in Rochester? I'm in Rochester, yeah. yeah. Who are you staying with? Well, right now I was just staying with, um, mm -hmm. so I have a, I have a 23 year old. I was staying with him. That's all I'm doing. I'm just sitting around waiting, you know? Mm. How old are you? A 23 year old. Who's son of your 23 year old? Yeah, technically, yeah, he is 23 years old. Uh -huh. How, what are you? How old are you? I'm 48. Gross, that's really old. How, How old are you? Uh, I am 33, about to be 34. Oh, um, you any kids? Yeah, I have a twenty. I just told you I had a twenty-three year old, technically. Oh, okay. Okay, you got a twenty-three year old kid. Technically, he's twenty-three. And you, and you, twenty-three. I mean, I look twenty-three. Mm, where you, where you, where your husband at? I don't have a husband. I just your boyfriend. Got, I just got knocked up on accident, and I. Didn't realize until I was like eight and a half months pregnant that I was pregnant. So this is like, wow. yeah, it was, it was kind of a mistake, but you know, like him and I are cool now. We cool. That was up. Yeah, it's like, it's no big deal. Like, I'm just doing my own thing. And, like, you know, it's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah. yeah. What, what's you sound up? like a nice lady. I'm pretty nice. What's up with you, though? Like, what are you doing? Chilling. And I'm in the hand bed. No hard day work. No lady here. You, you here? Oh, you I'll all by yourself? My daughter here. Oh, okay. How old is she? Fifteen. Oh. Are you allowed to have visitors? Are you? The, is, I'm grown man. Oh, I'm allowed to. Yeah, I just don't want to. I don't know. You know, pe different people, different parenting uh rules you know <laughs> it's okay how big of a boy are you what how big of a boy are you i'm i'm pretty big i'm 511 mm, that's tall how big are you Five four. Are you stack like you stack? Yeah, I'm a big girl. I got, I got curves. Yeah, I got fat ass. Yeah, you need you need a spank that. I do. I've been I've been a dirty girl. Do you, do you like to smack fat asses? Yeah, I suck big titties, too. Oh, I got big titties, too. Are you... Like, how big is your penis? It's a decent size. Okay, are you hard right are you, now? Are you hard? No, I ain't hard yeah, yet. My nipples are hard, yeah. I got big... I got big okay. titties. Oh, yeah? How big is it? What size what, ball you wear? Well, do you know what, like, do you know what the shit looks like that comes out of an ass like this? 
No. Do you want to know? Sure. Okay. You gonna let me give you a Cleveland steamer? Take, yeah, what? Take a big old dookie on your chest? No. Huh? Oh, no, I'm putting shit on my chest. Well, that's what a Cleveland steamer is. You said I could show you the kind of shit that comes out of an ass like this. You should. You shouldn't have told it. Okay, well, do you know what a Blumkin is? Look, I'm just kind of like, so I'm, I'm a Gen Z. I'm into these things, okay? I have an open mind. And, oh no, he gone. Can you be, be my toilet, big boy? Yes. I shit everywhere but the dirt. Shut the fuck up. Yes, green is <laughs> clear the kid. Oh, Lord. Okay. That poor man, he thought he was getting a nice lady. And I was not a nice lady. <sighs> oh, I want to come party. Okay. <laughs> Why are people so weird? I like it. I like that people are weird and unaware of things. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette in my life. Let's just smoke more weed. Make it weird. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight oh. one seven. That's not true. You are definitely available. <gasps> Go pee. Oh, I thought I dropped my phone. Shmook. What is shmook? Oh, shmook. Your call has been forwarded to it. Okay. How dare you, Bren? I haven't outwarded any of these people. Oh. Okay. That's good. I like that. Copy. Walter, it smells like dog farts in here. That was not me. I don't know, man. Is, is your food making your butt weird? When was the last time you heard that, guys? Is your food making your butt weird? It smells like dog farts. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Send me a message and I'll send you some Walter... Stickers that I'm getting made at the moment. They're very personal. Hey, this is Josh. I'm unable to oh, get your call oh. at the moment. Please leave a message and I'll get it. Smells like, smells like death. Have you ever smelled like what death smells like? I haven't. I don't think I have. But I don't know. I know people are always like, that's what death smells like. It's like, how the fuck do you know what death smells like? Why are you hanging around death? Okay, let's call this fucking guy. Uh... 
dead animals, yeah. <laughs> Just by a stress ball, not you come? What? Dead animals, yeah. Okay. Oh, quit smoking, Nat Nat. I quit smoking. It's been like... I was going to be like two years coming up. That, like, I literally was like, I will smoke for the rest of my life. Please leave your message for nine, five. And I'm not going to lie. I would like to smoke for the rest of my life and, like, not give a fuck. Um, it's all you, uh, health conscious fucks, fuck faces. And my mom, you know. But man, like, I miss smoking so much. And. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. Yeah. If you. But, like, cigarettes are so cool. <laughs> not just cool, they're just, like, great, though. Like, I. There's. I have no issues with cigarettes at all. Other than the price. I think that's the thing that gets me the most. It's like, damn, dude. Why do all these non-smokers give a fuck about what I do? And why are you taxing me so hard? Like, Man. Quick cold turkey because I was tired of waking up hacking. Yeah. I still, like, I think it's because I have, uh, allergies. But I still get a little, a little lung butter, you know what I'm saying? But 2021, I miss it so much. Yes. I know, that was a big part about me not quitting was, like, I literally know that every day I will be like, fuck, I just want to see but, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, it's good to not... Don't smoke. Smoking is stupid. I just miss it. That's all. I'm being honest right now. Mm, cutie. No. What? What is it? Okay, um, 20 bucks every two weeks to be here. Yeah, they, like, got rid of a lot of the flavory vape stuff, like, at least the, like, non-refillable ones, like, they were, like, no, you can't have fruity good flavors. Well, that's a bummer. Fucking young kids always ruining it. Like, back in the day when I was young, they didn't give a fuck. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box well, that has not I did give a fuck because it was hard. And you had to find people that would be like, I don't need to see your ID, just tell me you're 18. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking... I'm fucking 18. And they were like, cool. And I was like, give me a pack of... Marlboro lights. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. The person you were trying them. to reach has a voicemail box that has. I'm gonna go smoking with my friend Liz at the Starbucks. We're gonna be so cool. We're gonna drive in my parents' Buick to the Starbucks. So cool. Don't be jealous, you guys. I know it's kind of a big deal. <sighs> I miss Liz. I think I'm too weird for her, though. Like, no, she's like, I'm a normal person. I'm like, oh. You went and got normal. What was start? <laughs> Fuck you, Gordo. <laughs> it was the late 90s. <laughs> Like an asshole, maybe even two thousands. 
maybe men in two thousands, I don't know. No, green and white and smoke. Ah, first time I smoked was in high school. But Hello? Please leave a message after the tone. Hello? Hello? Please answer. It's your neighbor. Hello? 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 Oh, thank God. Thank you for answering. Were you asleep? I'm sorry. I wasn't asleep. I was in bed, but I was just dozing around. Okay. Were you did Were you dreaming? No, no. Oh, Who am I talking to? Oh, hey, it's Rachel. It's me. I don't know Rachel. Okay, I live in the blue house. In uh, I'm in Livingston. No, I don't. Where are you at? Well, we're on the Willow Grove Highway. Yeah. How'd you get my number? How'd you get my number? Well, here's the deal. So, Jack gave it to me. Jack is the guy that plays Santa at the um, the nursing home, and he also has one of those uh, key tars. They're like guitars, but with the piano keys. Oh, well, I don't know him either. Oh. Mm. Well, he was saying he ran into you. Yeah, why did they give you my number, though? Oh, I don't know. He just said, um, he said you should call up my friend here because she likes to, she's got a really good, um, what are those called? The eggs, the deviled egg recipe. Oh, so I was just calling to see if maybe because the holidays are coming up, if maybe I could get your deviled egg recipe. Well, I'll give it to you right now if you want it. Okay, let me get a pen here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. Okay. You boil your eggs, of course. You know that. You boil your eggs. Uh huh. For about 10, 10 minutes. Then you let them cool, take the shell off. Do you Cut put them in, in cold? Make- do you put them in cold water though? I'm sorry to interrupt. Just to to boil them, put them start with warm water. Okay. I mean cold water. Okay. Let them boil about ten minutes, ten or fifteen, something like that. Make sure they're the yellow is done. Mm-hmm. And you just you just uh, shell them and take you know cut them in two and take the yellows out. And in the yellow parts, you put mayonnaise, salt. And a little bit of onion, okay. if you like them. Like onion powder? Either. You can do either one, powder or the chop up some onions real fine. Oh, okay, okay. And then what do you do after that? Did you, you just put enough mayonnaise in them to, you know, make them stick together. Do the yellow... Do the yellow parts include where when do you add the walnuts? I don't put walnuts. Oh, I was it raisins? Put... Were you adding raisins? No, 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 no. Just just your yolk of your your uh, eggs. You mix that in with mayonnaise, a little salt and pepper and and the onions. Put them back. No, then you just take a spoon and put them back into your half of your egg. Mm. Do you use that paprika? Top, that. Paprika on the top? You can, but I don't. I just put a little. I don't paper like paprika. In my well, then you don't want it on your eggs then. Do you think I could use maybe like um, that ranch dressing instead of mayo? I don't think it'd be good, but you could try one and see. Well, like I mean, it. it's basically mayo with some yeah. ranch seasonings, right? Yeah. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. How do they make ranch dressing anyways? Mm-mm, I don't know. Mm. But I know mayonnaise is just, you know what mayonnaise is. You add your flavor to it. Your mm. onions and your salt and pepper. Mm. Your mayonnaise. But I mean, you can put whatever. You can try one and see if you like the. Okay, but on. when do you add the raisins? 
if you don't put raisins in eggs. Oh, I thought you said you were um, you chopped up the raisins real fine. No, that's the onions. If you use regular onions, you chop them up real fine, add them to your eggs. Oh, okay. Maybe you're mumbling. I'm sorry. Did you get it? Uh, no. So I have where you boil the eggs. Then you cook, when you boil them for at least 15 minutes to make sure they're done, then you take them out and, and take the shell off. Cut the eggs in two and get the the yellow part out. Mix it with your mayonnaise, your salt and pepper, and onions. Ranch dressing, spit and come, and then you sprinkle paprika over the top. Yeah, if you like it, yeah. What do you call this recipe? What? Do you have a special name for your deviled eggs recipe? Oh no. Just deviled eggs. Oh, okay. Because sometimes people are like, Gam Gams, deviled eggs, you know, or like, did you yeah. come up with it yourself or did you learn it from someone? I learned that from my mother. That's good. I like that. I wish my mom taught me more about cooking, but she didn't. She told me how to make some gosh darn Polish, uh, this, well, maybe it was... It was like Polish and Italian, like a stuffing for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do that? Like, I don't know. You know? Well, I feel like people were judging me all the time. Like, my boyfriends, they would be like, okay, well, you want to come over to my house for Thanksgiving? And I was like, yeah, but all I could bring is, like, all I know how to cook is an Italian stuffing, uh, which is basically meat, meat, rice, and, like, an onion, you know, and, like, some celery, cut up celery. Yeah. And they're like, wow, like, what are you, some kind of a, uh, five foot four, uh, 237 pounds? Uh, fatty, and I was like, "Yeah, that's me." <laughs> well, I've got to go back to bed. I got to get up early in the morning. Okay. Well, I love you, and thank you for that deviled eggs uh, recipe. Right. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good night and blessed okay. rest of your year. Okay, you too. All right, I love you. Say back. Oh, say back. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> me, me. <laughs> That's literally what it is, though. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I learned how to make, uh, <laughs> I guess, an Italian stuffing, but it's literally like ground beef, <laughs> Italian sausage, rice, onions, and celery. Like, and you mix it together. And it's really good. I'm not going to lie. It's delicious. Throw that shit. Mix it in with some mashed taters. Oh. So good. So good. <sighs> yeah. Oh. And some green bean casserole. Oh. I'm ready for some. I'm ready for some Thanksgiving. Prom call, there is no Jesus when it comes to Thanksgiving. It's all about white man. White man. I mean, she's from your neck of the woods and Nat Nat. Straight from the Philadelphia. Uh, or Pittsburgh, whatever. She's from around Hershey. There's some like Dolly Parton farm out there or something. Uh, Dolly Parton nightclub for kids. What is that called? Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello. Hello. <gasps> oh, Camp Soup, you're Canadian. Look at that. How
happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Todd Gag, how do we support her? Who, what? I love Thanksgiving of the year, but last year, be stuck in a cabin in the mountains with relatives. Oh, man, I don't know why we get so lucky. It's probably like playing on people's, uh, <laughs> it's the time of the year where you talk to the family, you know? Who else would be calling me on this day but somebody I know? Sorry, asking. <laughs> prank, prank, cool. Yes, it should be. Oh, it's hello. Hello. I'm just. I'm sorry. Hello. I didn't think you were gonna answer. Who is this? It's Rosie. Hello. I was calling about your recliners you got for sale. Mm -hmm. I'm from New York. We got a problem? No, it's just rather light. Okay, well, were you sleeping or what? No, I wasn't too bad. Gracie, is this you? Yeah. How did you know? You butt. <laughs> yeah. How did you know? I knew. No, yeah. What are you doing? I'm in bed. You're sleeping already? No, I'm not sleeping. I'm watching TV. Oh, what are you watching? Uh, oh, it's one of them 30 minute programs that comes on and on and on and on. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Did you know that I'm Gracie and I'm a man? I'm a man. My name's Gracie. What are you doing? Why are you watching programs? Oh, I scared her. I scared Ooh. her. Did you, Walter, do you have to go outside or are you going to poop your pants? Okay, hold on. I think Walter's going to poop his pants. Oh, Walter. Why would you poop your pants like that? Hey, you know what? Last time I saw you, you licked your lips at me a lot. It was really creepy. Lip licker? Last time I saw you, you were looking at me, and you looked me straight in the eye, and you started licking your lips a lot. Lip licker? Hey, you know what? Last time I saw you, you licked your lips at me a lot. It was really creepy. Lip licker? Last time I saw you, you were looking at me, and you looked me straight in the eye, and you started licking your lips a lot.
Okay, Walter is still out and about, so... We might get interrupted. Oh, what was I just thinking about? Um... God damn it, Devin! Sometimes they have good ideas and they forget them right away. Is that what happens when you get old? Do you get bloody ear canals when you get old too? Tell me, old people. Tell me your secrets. Oh, Gorda. It's a Huawei. <laughs> He's not a shame. He is a good boy. He's a good boy. Um, let's see. Lip liquor. Hello. Please leave a message uh, after the tone. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me see. Is Hampton the one that fucking doesn't let me through? I think it is. We're going to try it anyways. It's the first one that came up. And it's probably like, we're smart. We don't allow fake robots to make noises on our phones. Stupid. Stupid. Calling the Hampton Inn, Houston, You're downtown. Welcome. Where free Wi-Fi, free hot mm -hmm. breakfast, and our clean and fresh Hampton beds are waiting for you. For reservations, press 1. For the sales office, press 2. For accounting, press mm -hmm. 3. For all other calls, press 0. Or simply stay on the line. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, you bitch. Quit playing games. Why are you playing games? Uh, games, foo. Oh, man. I got so excited. <laughs> I've never had a bed waiting for me before. <sighs> okay. Put a pizza in that bed and have a deal. Why aren't you people answering the phone? What is wrong with you? This is some chicken shit bullshit. Mm. You make me so mad. Walter's not back yet. Oh, I have a kitty. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? Are you going to attack the back of my chair? I like that. I like when you attack the back of my chair. Makes me happy. Thank you for calling the Marriott Marquis Houston. You're welcome. To best assist Kitty, you, please listen in. to the following options. For new and existing reservations, please press 1. Okay. For sales, catering, and meetings and events, please press 2. For our pure spa, Kitty, please Kitty. press 3. For our lost and found department, please press 4. To speak with a member of our accounting department, okay. please press 5. Nope. To speak with a hotel operator, please press 6 or remain on the line. Fuck you. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Is it really bad? What? Marriott Hotels is proud right to participate in Marriott Bonvoy a global travel program that offers members an extraordinary portfolio of global brands, 
exclusive experiences on Marriott Bonvoy moments and unparalleled benefits include. What did which one she did mean? What does that mean? I think we were lost to that too. And give us the details. Oh, there's Walter. Shit, sure, hold on. Shit, hold on. Um. Oh yeah. Have you guys ever worn your pants backwards? Hold on, Walter. Look at me. Look at me right now. <sighs> Come on. What? Okay, Nellie, you are amazing, and I love ye. What am I doing? Where am I? What is today? Okay, oh, you're such a dick. You're gonna make me do this. Like a fucking asshole. Hello. Hey, what's going Hello? on? Yeah, who's this? Yeah, let's go on live. So if you want to go over and listen to the asshole, you can go ahead and do that, okay? Who is this? I'm sorry. Hello? I'm sorry. My name is Rachel, and I'm calling about okay. your Sony PlayStation 2 with the 12 oh, okay. games. Do you still have it? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I can't really tell what... Oh, there you go. There you go. Hold on. My heart monitor's going off. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. It's got to make a really loud pow noise. You know, I blew it. I know what I was doing wrong. Hello? <laughs> What's going on, partner? <laughs> you hey, how's it going? going? Uh, this is a strange phone call. Uh, how can I help you? So, yeah, you still got that PlayStation 2 and all the games? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, can I come over and look at it? or? Uh, not tonight, I'm sorry. You can come tomorrow, though. Oh, is it too late for you? Yes. What, do you have kids? I have to hang up now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. I'll suck your dick, like, if that's what you want. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Is that really so funny? Funny. Thank you for calling well, Hilton America Future. For best. So very judgy, and I don't appreciate it. Rude. Okay. Okay, have a nice... What? Why can't I be drunk with your Hilton robot? That's going to be a problem for me. I'll need you to allow me to be drunk with your Hilton robot. And just be like, yes, I understand you're sh you're drunk right now. I'm going to get you to an associate. I guess maybe it's protecting the associates. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Vista Blue, no offense, Tegan. The robot was a tall bitch. Long Four Season Houston Hotel. This is Kanisha speaking. How may I direct your call? Kanisha, are you at the front desk right now? I'm covering core. What does that mean? What? Who I'm speaking with? Oh, I'm staying here at the hotel right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, That's okay. Yes, I'm the I'm the core operator. Are you on so you, uh, site you, or I'm sorry? No, so I'm in the hotel. Oh, you are. Okay. Okay, perfect. So Yes, ma'am. So I I just walked out and I um went down the hall. There's somebody came and put uh barbecue sauce 
all over the my my door. Okay, so someone put barbecue. <laughs> excuse me. Someone put barbecue sauce on your door. Can you confirm your room number, please? Well, I think it was my husband. So I don't. I just wanted to know if you have any extra towels because I don't want to get him in trouble. Okay, I can absolutely give you towels if you could just provide me your room number. Could I just come down and get some? You can. Uh, you can stop by the front desk, um, and then I can have housekeeping arranged to bring some towels down here. Would that be okay? Yeah. Also, I found a set of car keys outside. Okay, so you found uh, keys. You can also drop that uh, at the front desk, and then they'll return it into Lost and Found. Oh, well, technically, we're down the street at, we're at the, um, Taco Bell. So, uh, you're, uh, where are you again, ma'am? Taco Bell. Some Taco kind Bell? Of tacos. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Tacos? Okay. Okay, well, um, may I have your, la can I, uh, have your name? Javis. Okay, so um, I can go ahead and have that arranged at the front desk just whenever you can. Just stop by the front desk, okay? What am I doing when I get there? Do I put you, my hands you ask on for, the wall? Or? No, ma'am. You don't have to put your hands on the wall. You uh, requested for towels. Oh, I was talking about the car keys. Wow, sorry. Oh, no, I no, no. So for so. the car keys, you can also drop that at the front desk. Okay, but they'll give me towels at the time that I exchange the car keys. Correct. Correct. Is it like a, a is this like a deal? Correct. Okay, so is Paco Tacos Bells? Oh, so yeah. So you just stop by the front desk and they'll be able to assist you, okay? So it's the Paco's Tacos Bells. It's in a guy's name. Uh, that Paco, he's in the basement. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, I don't recall what you're saying, but just whenever you get a chance, you can stop by the front desk. So corn, but you are you the corn operator? Correct. Okay. So how many corns down are you? Are you? Do you do the corn down? I'm. I'm so sorry. I'm not. I'm not understanding. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just corn. Sure can corn down. Oh, she didn't understand. She's a cop. She's a fucking. Why are you such a cop? You fucking cop. What a bitch. Sorry. Oh my god, it's three hours. Okay. You guys, how does it get to this? I'm like. I can't do three hours. That's crazy. That's a lot of time. And then I look and I'm like, whoa, what? I'm already, th I'm already there. She's the corner operator. I'm not a people person. <laughs> it's a new stay at the corner of Long Beach Airport. And we thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. For reservations... <laughs> Please press 1. Okay. For sales and catering, oh. please press 2. To reach a guest, the front desk, or for personal assistance, uh -huh. please press 0 or remain on the line. Okay. You are being transferred to the, the operator. operator. Okay. Thanks, Brian Clear. I'm Mary Long Beach Airport. This is Lisa. How may I assist you? Hi, I'm trying to get a hold of room 124. It wouldn't What's let me dial through. What's the name? Well, I met John at the bar tonight. Sorry, what was the last name? I, I don't know his last name. I met him at the bar. His name is John. That's not, that's not the name I have on file. Oh, so no, I well, can't transfer you. I'm he sorry. He gave me this number and his room number. 124. I'm going to put you on a hold. What's your name? No, don't put me on a hold. Uh, I will come down there 
And I will brush your fucking hair. Okay? Give yeah, me, okay, good night. Give me to 124. Run out! What a bitch. What a bitch. She's kind of rude. Trying to get stiff with. That guy was such a player. He was like, I'm a man's man. I don't want to fact, fuck, fact, no fact, shake. Fact, no fuck shakes. He don't want to fact, no fuck shakes. And, uh, uh, he's had a girlfriend. Rude. Fucking Hello? rude. Hello. Hello. Yeah, my my boyfriend said that he called about the recliners earlier. Yes. Yeah, and he said that you were hitting on him. Are you a are you a <laughs> Wow. What a bench. Oh wait, I already talked to her. How did I read to her? Are you double doing numbers? You slut. <laughs> Wait. Oh, she called him like 35 times. What a bitch. This is so nice. I'm sorry. You're not a bitch. I'm sorry. You're a nice lady. Called toddy bars in Las Vegas. No, because all they do is yell. They just yell a bunch. Toddy bars. I wonder if Band Aids is still. Let's see if Band Aids is still open. Okay, Band Aids. Phoenix. Oh. Man, Band-Aids is right next to my... Ooh, they are. Copy. They're right next to the awesome bar that would let me drink at the age of 17. So good. And... <laughs> I like get people calling the fucking... Uh, payphone. Let's see if I'm... Hey, what kind of sluts do you got showing their vagines tonight? Hello? Who's on right? Who's on tonight? Who's on what? Who's fucking dancing? What the fuck? Who's dancing? I don't know. You'll have to come in and see. Oh, what are you, some kind of a fucking bitch? Are you going to come in? Only if you'll be this fucking sassy with me in person. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd be a fucking cunt. Anything else? What are you wearing? The same thing you're wearing. You're wearing pants and no shoes? Mm-hmm. Do you also have a Simpsons t-shirt? One. A what? Yeah. How'd you know? A bitch, because I'm watching you right now, Scare Tactics. You are? I see you, Scare Tactics. I see you too. Mm -hmm. What am I wearing? You're wearing some jeans, just like me. Uh, okay, but also, like, I'm here and I'm. I see you. I see you too. Are you scared right now? No, why would I be scared? Good. Are you, you ugly? Good. You should. <laughs> You're only scared of ugly? <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> what the fuck? 
What a fucking weird ass beard. Well, that was band aids. Man, I used to go into the Mecca Lounge. I am scared of <laughs> ugly Jew. What a stripper response, though. Like, damn. Okay. Scare tactics. Ooh, so scary. Okay. Um. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, what? You all. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that what they're calling it these days? Oh, yes, it is. You. Okay, I like that. 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 Oh. Oh yeah, what is this? Was this a sassy? Hello? Hello? Yeah, is this Steve? Is this Steve? Yeah, who's this? It's Rachel. Rachel? Yeah, you gave me From your From where? I don't know, you gave me your number a couple of weeks ago. I didn't give you my number a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you weren't at the Royale? Nope, not me, ma'am. Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. Have a good evening. Well, do you have any? I don't. Why would somebody give me your phone number? I have no idea do you because have any they friends? didn't want to give you. Not that would do that. Yeah, you don't sound like you have any friends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you sound like a fucking piece of shit. Steve. Good night, bitch. Fucking asshole. Give me your fake ass number. Okay, that was rude. Oh, man. Um. Freaking male propaganda sent me Jane here, but. <laughs> I'll have to be for next time. I'll save it. Thank you. Good night, guys. I love you. Thanks for making. Um. Calls with me to hang out, and I love y'all. You take your pants off. Dippity dippity dodging. You know. You know that Nat Street be dippity dippity dodging. Um, which is just the best thing ever. No, I don't want to. You're just dodging my phone calls. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. What's up, Rachel? What's up, Roy? I think you're playing games like my car's a toy. You wrote me a note that you left in a thing. But if I'm being honest, I don't see a thing. I'm starting to think it's a bunch of lies. Do you really even have insurance, guys? There must be something that I'm misconstruing. But I know one thing. I'll tell you what you're doing. You dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity dodging. Dippity dippity my doors are okay, my bumper ain't bent I don't see a scratch, I don't see a dent I check top to bottom and under the hood But I'm kinda confused cause my car looks good I just need your insurance if you wanna share If it's Geico or Progressive, I really don't care I don't think you appreciate the situation But I'm calling the cops if there's no communication You're dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity dippity dodging Dippity Dippity Dodge 
that's my phone for calls from an insurance agent, uh, from you, from your significant other, from anybody, anybody, anybody related to the thing, damage, whatever it is on my car.